there's something that I am very, very passionate. I don't like to quote from the book. I love to share my life experience. I am at this point uh, in my life. More this is, because yeah. it's more relevant. The challenges I face on yeah. my daily. Absolutely. I was talking about the marathon. Yes. I didn't really train, yes. but I was able to do it. Yes. Those are the kind of things people want to hear. They want to see a real life person exactly. doing something. And yeah. I also, my value, family is one of my values. Yes. My values to go around five herbs. My faith. My faith. Mm. It's very, very important. Mm. My family is very, very important. I don't want to compromise because I don't know of our course. lives. It's about our family. our family. What are we doing all these mm. things for? So Fantastic. I also talk about my wife. That yes. What I see these days is that you actually see people going out with their wife. Yeah. I, I, I like that because you're a fantastic role model. I don't know if Thank just you. in your community, maybe, you know, nationwide, worldwide. And especially as you expand, you're sending a good message for our younger generation as well. Exactly. I see so yeah. many people. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised that sometimes some people come to me that, how am I able to do it to be going to those kind of events with mm -hmm. my wife? If it is discos, yeah. if it is parties, yeah. if it is uh, Valentine's yeah. Day, they mm -hmm. see me with my mm -hmm. wife. I say, I'm married to a goddess. That's right. I am married. It's for better for us. Exactly. If I'm married to, nobody forced me to marry my that's wife. Right. So if I'm married to somebody and I can't take her out, yeah. that's too bad. It's a disgrace. I was not for it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. I'm yeah. proud of her. If I'm not yeah. proud of her, why did that yeah. matter in the first oh, place? It's your family. It's your that's my family. That's, uh, that, that, that is my essence. Mm -hmm. So it's not as if it's like a uh, photo so shoot. Do you, yeah, photo <laughs> shoot or something? Not, it's not, it's not a photo shoot. Do you, um, do you actually talk to people about that in part of your motivation about keeping the family together? Yes, I, what I do, because most of the things I talk about is success, yeah. about family values. But yeah. I always talk during my seminars that for me, yeah. I think it was somebody that said that one of the things I believe mm. is that personal victory mm. precedes public victory. Mm -hmm. That if you are not successful at yeah. home, yeah. forget about and what you're doing. And it's a series of very tiny personal yes. uh, victories that lead to public Exactly. Victory. I will give you, I, I will mm. never, I've never seen anybody on their deathbed mm. who says, oh, how I wish I can increase the profitability right. of my company That's right. by 20% to 1 right. billion. Yeah, exactly. On, uh, when people look back, yeah. you see, especially those who have achieved an enormous success, <laughs> mm -hmm. they always talk about their family, that that's right. how they wish they can spend more time with that's their family. Right. Because no yeah. matter how successful you yeah. are, even if you are named the richest person in the world, mm -hmm. if you have two children or four children, mm -hmm. and none of them can turn out well in life, mm -hmm. and you, you, you are known as the richest person mm -hmm. in the world, you will never be happy. Yeah. You will never be fulfilled no. in your soul. That's right. And especially yeah. when you look back and say, these kids would have turned out better if I did not abandon yeah, them absolutely. to be sitting down in the office, yeah. to be helping them to increase profitability, to be spending 18 hours in the yeah. office. Because when you look back and say, if I can spend 8 hours or strike a balance between work mm -hmm. and life, these mm -hmm. children would have turned out better. You always regret it. So and also, as a motivational speaker, how can you motivate other people if you can't keep your own household doing exactly. properly? Because, right? you, you know, yeah. in motivational speaking, mm -hmm. it's a matter of emotion. Mm -hmm. Your state of mind has to be right. Mm -hmm. Everything about you has to be yes. right. The because show must go on. You, you know the yes. funny thing is that one thing in life that you don't, you can't teach people in leadership and motivation yeah. is passion. Mm -hmm. That passion, the your passion yeah. of what you do it must come from real. within. It has to be real. It's not real. You can't fake passion. No. So when you are not passionate about what you do, mm -hmm. but your passion will shine yes, right. when you are happy at home. Yes, definitely. When you have a lot of problem at home. It's a, it's cool. By the time you go and speak it's outside, not possible, is they it? will just say that there's something yeah, is not right about that person. Right. There's something. People can feel it. They will just feel it that there's something about that guy. It's mm. like that person is not real. Yeah. It, it's, um, it's so important, as you say, in our industry because um, it's just not possible to, to go out there and do these things with your mind broken like that so yeah it's, it's not possible your, your everything yeah. your being yeah. your state of mind your health everything has to be okay let me give it you very good, good. Yeah. if you have a speaking engagement mm -hmm. and your your voice has gone dead yeah well, you can't do it <laughs> your emotion has to be right, right. if you are not physically fit That's you can't right. do it you don't have because, the stamina yeah, yeah. If, you, if you you're running a seminar That's right. maybe for two days That's and right. you don't have the stamina That's right. maybe you have to stand in it front takes a lot of energy because motivation mm -hmm. is not about sitting down That's right. you have to stand That's right. so if you're standing you're giving like a master class you're a actually master giving class, yourself nine, aren't you nine to five Sharing. and you can stand yeah. for more than 20 minutes or 30 minutes <laughs> yeah. you can't do it nobody will come to your seminar yeah, right. if yeah. they come once yeah. they won't come again yeah well it depends i mean uh it depends if you're disabled it's, 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 it's a different to, thing yeah 
Yeah. But when you don't have the stamina, yeah. if you are disabled, they know the expectation. Yeah. When, for example, by the time you are driving traffic, you are doing your publicity, you are standing up, you are saying, come to my seminar, and they come to your seminar, they can see a lot yeah. of energy, <laughs> and <laughs> after 10 minutes, you just say, I'm tired, and you're yeah. sitting down. That's funny, yeah. But yeah. if, for example, you are doing one day, and you just say that, Oh, I just want to rest, or you can, you know, your alternate is different. Yeah. Well, I like yeah, to it's, stand. it's really just not possible. That's what I'm saying. That within the industry that we're in. If you're not physically fit, yeah. it will show because physically people will know. Mentally, right? You have to be physically yeah. and mentally fit. That's they will, right. People will know. That's right. Because it's if you just sit what down. We're doing with other people, right? If at this seminar you said, oh, I just want to sit down a little bit, and you do that, mm -hmm. you know, and the funniest I discovered, I've seen people mm -hmm. who come to several of my seminars in a year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some people have been going to Anthony Robbins for oh, years. Oh, okay, they like it. <laughs> they like so, for example, one, yeah. they know yeah. that this is what happened as you said, they will not come again. No. Yeah, as you say, they're coming with an expectation. Yeah, with an expectation. Uh, you know, and they want to and that's the thing level. about, let's talk a little bit about people that come to seminars. A lot of people have different reasons for coming to the seminar, but for a lot of people, it's their vacation, their spa treatment, their time to recover themselves. And go to a new level even yeah. if it's the same seminar so yeah. they have a high expectation when they come and some people may come and they don't know what to expect but they have some hope some expectation but i so think that as, as a speaker good stuff out there. one of the things i always do is that when people come to my seminar mm -hmm. what do i want them to live mm -hmm. with this is yeah. very very important they must get yeah. value for money something better than they the must be, at least yeah. it can be tips yeah. for example uh it can be believe mm -hmm. No matter anybody that comes to my seminar, I want them to have believe in themselves. Yeah. I also want them to take action. Mm -hmm, I want them to stop procrastinating. That's I want them to know that it's going to be very, very challenging, but they must never give up. Yeah. And I use myself as a metaphor yeah. that this thing can be done. Yeah. Because when you look at the story, when you look at my story and where I am today, mm -hmm. you think that it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Where God has taken me today, I'm always thankful to God mm -hmm. because I remember that it, uh, I was at, I was speaking at a seminar uh, uh, in Arrow, further seminar on the 9th of September last year, and on my BlackBerry I started just getting a message. Oh, I've, I've just listened to your CD. Do you know what I feel? Mm. I I remember what came to my mind was the Book of Psalms mm. 126. Mm. That when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, mm. when I do school dream, I was like, is this real? Mm. Is it? Because sometimes there are some things when they are very, very massive and big mm -hmm. and they want to happen in your life mm -hmm. and they want to unfold, you can have a little doubt and say, is this real? Exactly. Are they going to change their it's mind? Like a twilight zone or something. That's it. Yeah. That, yeah. Will something happen? Yeah. Are they going to say no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's true. So when yeah. it's not finally sinking, yeah. you'll be, oh, thank yeah. God. Humility. Yes, yeah. so I, I am very, very, I feel privileged, I yeah, feel humble with yeah. all those experience because Fantastic. You know, I, I have speaking engagement, I'm busy, people yeah. call me, and, and I appreciate it. And then you're able to relate to the people still that. because, you know, you can understand I love the people, I love people. I love, that's the reason why I don't like to, because I don't want to live in a fantasy land. Mm -hmm. I like to connect with the people. Mm -hmm. I like to know what they feel. Mm -hmm. I like to know what is going on in their life mm -hmm. so that when you talk, it is real. Because yeah. why do you think a lot of entrepreneurs in UK love Sarita Branson because people feel him they just feel like oh it's just so, like yeah, yeah it, and they understand the struggle they don't understand the struggle they know that it's all yeah. it doesn't I yeah. like, it's not a whiskey he's yeah, just exactly. doing his own thing and he's yeah. having fun when you show compassion when you try to say I I because especially when people know where you're coming from mm -hmm. you know in motivational speaking and this industry sometimes in life some people try to disassociate themselves from where they are coming from